what are your thoughts? Because sometimes, you know, I can hear, well, I tried everything and nothing works. So I'm still in pain. Nothing works. I tried everything. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, I love, I, well, I don't like hearing that. But when somebody says that, um, I say, come on in, come on in. Have you tried, have you tried yourself, the power within yourself? Because they usually it means, oh, I tried a bit of acupuncture, manipulation, drugs. They tried everybody, everybody around. We call it the nightmare of choice. And <laughs> rather than coming in, well, let's face it, mate, if you've got a back pain out there, I think I counted the other day, you could go to something like, 33 professions who say they can help your back pain. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that relentlessly searching for an answer, relentlessly searching for an answer can also make things, make things worse. So we have a, um, we have a formula that I use and, and with my colleague, Lorimer Mosley, and, and it's a simple formula about pain. And that's, is this, that you and I and your listeners will hurt when our brains weigh everything going on in the world and the brains make a decision, if I can use that strange language, brains make a decision that there's more danger out there than safety. Mm -hmm. Equally, equally, we will not hurt when our brains weigh the world and compute or whatever brains do, that there's more safety out there, more safety out there than danger. Now, that is a really, really powerful, powerful um, uh, formula that we use in our protectometer booklet. And so people will say to me, well, the, that's usually quite interesting. And this is where we get to this idea of DIMs and SIMs, the network. So I've talked about the network. So a DIM, danger in me network, SIM, safety in me network. For some of you who like the Asian food, DIMs and <laughs> or DIM sum. <laughs> But they're very popular in Australia, dim sims. So a dim is a danger in me, a sim is a safety in me. But the key thing is, going back to network, for somebody with a chronic pain, there could be so many dims and we categorise them. So a dim could be, and I've even made a list here of what the last 20 patients have said, it could be in things you hear, see, smell, taste and touch. So if, so if somebody, the dim could be a creaky joint, a cracking or looking at an x-ray, right? or hearing someone say there's no cure. Right? But the sim could be something like just blue skies, touch, a kiss, a cuddle. Right? And I must admit, Maya, I sometimes find myself thinking I'm a bit of an old hippie saying this, because <laughs> I used to be very much a whack and crack and twist and really aggressive on people. And now I find myself for this category, I might say to a patient in chronic pain, I want you to go to the local market, walk through, find three different smells, three different colours, and touch three different textures. And they'll look at me a bit weirdly and I say, if you do that, your brain will construct new pathways in there that will over that will over time overcome some of the more some of the pain pathways. You construct our brains love novelty. So there's a scientific explanation. Others could be the things you do. The dim could be just a limp, right? Repeated limping. A limp is always a reminder that there's something going on. You know the best way to change a limp? Please share. Walk, ba walk backwards. <laughs> walk backwards. The limps, the things you do, the doctor hunting, always seeing somebody else. That's a dim. The brain is picking up danger pathways. But the things you do that could be safe, could be you know, ride a bike, laugh, go back to your family, right? Gradually exercise. There's plenty of ways to exercise gradually, carefully, with context out of pain. The things you say, Maya, um, could also be dims and sims. I'll talk a little bit about that after this because I want to pick one area to just focus a little bit on if there's time. Yes. So the things you say that could be really good and the things you say that could be troublesome. The things you think and believe too is another category. If you think they should have fixed me mm -hmm. or why haven't they fixed me, uh, or the world is stuffed, or pain is forever, if that is your belief structure, that's a danger in here. But if you can have a, if you can have a, a, um, a sim which might be, hey, 
there's new neuroscience out there which can explain or give me direction out. There is understanding. Hang on, I'm more bioplastic than I ever thought. The places you go could be a dim, couldn't they? Mm -hmm. There's a mum in a nursing home. It could be the cold, scary places out there, right? It could be where you injured yourself. But equally, the places you go could be sims, like you know, climb a tree, go back to the church if you're religious, right? Your back shed. These, these are all sims. And so much in my work, I'm trying to get my patients, find the sims, get out, walk on the beach with your favourite music, with your best friend, and that will give your body an incredible immune blast. The people in your life could be dims. Sometimes it's nice just to reflect. Could be the neighbour, could be a health professional, could be certain politicians. We won't mention any names. No. <laughs> they could be sims, you know. And it doesn't have to be people, people in, your, in your immediate family. It could be the Paralympians or some sports star or someone who's overcome incredible adversity. You might see it in a movie. And people always say, well, why do I do that? I say, you go to a movie and see or read a story about someone who, who is really uplifting, your brain takes that on too and you live their life and there's mirror neuron cells in there that will come alive and also help you. And so it goes on and then the things happening in your body could also be dims. If there's creaks or crackles or things that need getting fixed, fluttering heart, etc., dietary changes, they're also dims, but they can be turned into sims too. If you don't move better, get a bit fitter, get your muscles up, love your body parts again, etc. But I'm getting